Hello everyone, this is Dr. Elias from the Department of Education, Hazara University, Mansera. In my previous presentation, I discussed the concepts of conceptual framework, theoretical framework, and analytical framework. In response to uh, their presentation, some colleagues and students, students asked me to elaborate on the conceptual framework. Um, and so in this one, I'm actually elaborating on what a conceptual framework um, in a practical sense means. So here we go. Um, as in the previous uh, presentation, I will here uh, discuss the conceptual framework with reference to two main concepts of my own thesis, reflection or reflective practice and teacher education. So in this conceptual framework, I'll be actually um, linking or interlinking these two concepts. So teacher education or teacher training, in some cases, uh, people call it teacher, teacher training. Um, although these two concepts uh, uh, look similar, but there is a philosophical difference between these two concepts. And on the other hand, reflection or reflective practice, again, they are used in many cases interchangeably. So teacher uh, education or teacher training is like one concept in this particular thesis and reflection or reflective practice is another concept. And so these are linked into a framework. On the uh, left side, you see that there is a particular philosophy of teacher education or teacher training rather where the teachers are considered as practitioners or as subject experts or as class as this is something that is classroom focused. And you can also link this philosophy to behaviorist uh, approach and so to the concept of teacher as a craftsperson. And on the other hand, there is the concept of the teacher as a transformational profession, professional as an agent of social change, as a critical practitioner, and as a moral crafts person. So if we are actually linking critical, uh, sorry, um, uh, reflective practice to the, to teacher as a transformational professional, as an agent of social change, or as a critical practitioner, we are actually looking at reflective practice in an entirely different way. Well, if we are, uh, considering the concept of a teacher as someone who is a classroom practitioner, who is a subject expert, and whose focus of um, action is narrowed down to the classroom, in, in that case, we are actually discussing the profession uh, through a different prism. And so we are uh, coming up with a different paradigm. And so, uh, let's see how we actually link these two concepts into a conceptual framework in terms of, let's say, exploring um, this uh, relationship of the reflective practice in the, con in the context of teacher education. So let's move here. The conceptual framework of uh, which actually link linking these two concepts, teacher education and reflective practice, um, can be looked to diagrammatically, can be presented diagrammatically um, in this way, the one that you see on the slide. So teacher education, um, where the philosophy of the particular teacher educational programs is action, actually technical focus, um, and where the teacher is uh, prepared as a technical craftsperson whose, uh, whose job is actually to go and apply certain teaching techniques in the classroom and to be effective teacher in terms of implementing of the curriculum. And so the focus um, in this kind of, um, uh, this concept of teacher is basically on classroom teaching, on the effective delivery of lessons and on a kind of control situation, controlling the class or classroom behavior of the students. And again, this is um, this can be associated with the transmission model of teaching, where 
the role of the teacher is actually not to ask questions about the why of the, the curriculum, but actually just uh, to focus on how to teach that or to focus on the how question. On the other hand, if teacher education program, programs uh, who that revolve around the concept of a more critically uh, reflective uh, development of teachers, the focus will be critical focus, which actually means the questions of why. And so there the teacher is considered or is prepared um, as a moral craftsperson, which actually means that the teacher uh, the teacher's role is not just uh, confined to the classroom but actually goes beyond the class the classroom and um, and so uh, the teacher as a reflective practitioner on that level is not a kind of technical craftsperson he is he or she is someone who asks questions about the aims of education the socio-economic conditions in which the educational process is taking place and so the relevance of education and uh, to, to the socio-economic uh, so conditions in the society. And plus his or her role in this case is a kind of transformational role where the teacher plays the role of an agent of change in the society. And so he or she looks at the educational process, not in the narrowed concept of how to teach, but actually why to teach. And what to teach uh, in order to bring a positive change uh, or, de or development in the society. And so the conceptual framework here revolves around these two main concepts, teacher education and reflective practice. So if I'm conducting a, a research thesis or a research paper where I'm focusing on these two main concepts and actually the different interpretations of these main concepts, um, this, uh, these two uh, together and the different interpretations of these two together and the explanation revolving around these two concepts from different angles and from different perspectives will actually um, accumulatively make into a conceptual framework of, of this uh, particular research or this particular thesis. So this conceptual framework actually gives direction to uh, uh, the whole research process during the initial stages, during the uh, literature review stages, and during the data analysis, and then uh, the conclusion stages. So I hope uh, 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 th there could be more complex concepts of conceptual frameworks, where there are more than two concepts are actually interlinked together, but I gave here um, a very simple example of how two uh, main concepts in a particular research are combined together and they're linked together. And so there is this relationship between these two concepts that you can term as the conceptual framework. I hope once again that this presentation, this brief presentation has brought more questions um, into the minds of uh, the uh, of the viewers. So if you have questions and further questions and if you have comments, please share in the comment section. Thank you very much once again for your time and attention.